what I want to do, everybody, is nail that last interview. I, I want to get the last session, and then I think I might call it a day there. Mm. I left the next day, Saturday. I slept for a few hours in the car. When I woke up, I came straight back. Uh, Simon wasn't returning my calls, and I wanted to try and make up. I got back to the house, and Simon wasn't there. And I... Is there a bin? Hmm. That's fairly damning evidence right there. It was late. Early Saturday morning. So that's why she tied her hair up, was because she went to go and throw up. So the, the hair thing sort of does work. The hair thing sort of still stands. That is the dev playing with us right there, I think. Um, so we've got that. I don't, that, that just doesn't sit with me. Throat. Uh, let's see what these say then. His body. So this is before she threw up. It didn't look real. His throat. It looked like his throat had been cut. And I didn't see his glasses. He has these thick glasses. It doesn't always work. So glasses and watch, those are two things that have been nagging me. On his throat. How? Oh wait, so that was the mirror in there. I thought it was like some silver leaf or something like that. Um, glasses. Nothing there. Um, watch. I think we've done that one though. Yeah, we've done that one to death. Um, strangle. Stab. Uh, found out. Oh, hello. No. Well, yes. He found out on my birthday. I told him I was pregnant. Hmm. Did we ever go for pregnant? Pregnant. Yes, I'm fine. So maybe it was like morning sickness or something. No, I was sick again. This happened some days. I'm pregnant. It's morning sickness. Hmm. Yeah, so that's Evie pregnant. Eve. I did type in Eve, didn't I? Um. Pregnant. Daughter. Did I type in daughter before? Child. Uh-huh. I'm with child. I read a lot as a child and watched lots of TV. Then the doll's house we had, we still have in the attic. It's kind of a fairy castle. We used to play out there and make up our own stories. I just, I think we're almost there. I just want to fill in these last, this crucial bit here. That isn't, that just isn't happening. Is this person still here? buzz when you're ready. So I wonder what happens when you kind of just stop. Let's try a little bit more of guitar. No. No, Simon didn't play guitar. He wasn't very musical. He liked to listen, but he was tone deaf. So... Yes. Yeah, it's my guitar. Well, it's not. It's Eve. Eve's guitar. Um, bar... Mm -hmm. Ah, there's something about the bar there. Are you sure? What would he be doing in Oxford if there was no conference? I remember calling him. He said it was boring and he spent most of the time at the bar. What was she doing in Oxford? Was that where he... where Evie went? Eve went? No. I told her it was one of my boyfriends. Someone I had met in the bar. I think she was happy. But I could tell she was thinking, why couldn't it happen to her and Simon? 
They were the ones with the real life. Why not them? See, that's the gap that I'm, I'm wondering about is where, why did she move out to a bed set? There was a conference, something to do with double glazing in Oxford. So that was the bit where she admitted they went to the hotel. It was supposed to be a secret. Just because Simon is dead, it doesn't mean I have to give up all his secrets. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to Simon. No one murdered my husband because he cheated his expenses for a romantic weekend in Oxford. See, I think, I think that was a red herring there. Um, so, bed... I keep wanting to write the, the, the worst thing here. Then she told me she wanted to help more. She said I should move in with her. She would come clean with Simon about me. I was family. I couldn't have a baby in a bed set. I told her I didn't want to tell Simon. Told her to wait for the time being. So that was a story. They had an affair. She got pregnant. She told her sister. Her sister wanted to tell Simon. Hmm. Let's see these. We couldn't afford our own place. Simon dropped out of school, went full time at the Glaziers. That was Eric's generosity. We moved in with his mum and dad. They had a spare room for us and the baby. The bit came. It was a nice change, time to myself, living there for those months, full of hope. Hmm. Something's bugging me about yes. the cigarettes. It was a shock to him. I mean, we never thought it was possible. I don't know what he... I mean, I hadn't decided whether to keep the baby. I wasn't really ready to talk to him about it. So... my thing. I've kept one, well, as long as I can remember, since I was a girl. It helps make sense of my day. And when you're forced to put something into words, it just gives you perspective. Everyone's on the same page. Now that's smart, everyone's on the same page because you two used to write a diary so you could pull off your double act. Now I just want to probe a little more into what happened in that house. Like, when was it that, that Eve, well, I guess Eve never left, but when did she leave? Why? I mean, I don't know. Something must have happened to him on his way home. He could be hurt. I mean, why hasn't he phoned? I just, I don't know. So that's her still pretending that she doesn't know why he's gone. Well, she has a knife. Uh, um, she's been cooking. Hmm. Nice cover. I guess. She's been cooking him his favourite meal. So this is Eve, remember? Um, she's his wife. And he's asleep and she doesn't want to wake him because he's ill. That's why she's sad. Because he's ill and... See, now that's her weaving her weird fantasies again. It's kind of a sad story, so I'm not sure it is. Hmm. <laughs> Ain't that the knowing nod to all of us? God, I don't know. Could be anyone. Maybe someone follows him back from the pub. But why would you let them in? Doesn't make sense. That's getting in the cat flap and all that. Um, oh, that's sad. What about her... Her story? Nope. Well, she just said that this was Hannah's story. Let's go back to this. Okay. There's a girl and she's staring out of the window. She's sad. She's trapped. She's here. 
she's looking out the window because her mother won't let her out. See, again, knowing the things we know, like, that's so quite telling. She's crying, I guess. She's sad because she thought she saw her husband with another woman. But it's okay because she finds out it wasn't her husband, it was his brother. And so it's fine. Oh dear. Deary, deary me, the clues were there right from the start. Okay. Um, she's being chased. Um, they're trying to catch her because she did something bad. I guess she broke the rules. Or maybe they think she did something bad. Maybe it wasn't her fault. She looks scared, not guilty. Maybe it was mistaken identity. Did they catch her there? I don't know. Hmm. That's up to you. <laughs> well, I guess we did catch her. So I want to try this now. There we go. She sent him out the house, kicked him out, called me up, crying, and I went round. I guess I had a feeling I could hear something was wrong in her voice, but I wasn't sure what it was. She called me sister on the phone. She never calls me that. So where does that come? So I guess that came after he showed her the mirror that presumably he made for Eve. My sister is gone. And she's never coming back. Why? Oh God, where is she? What did you do with her? Brother, I don't know. Uh, sibling. What did you do to her? Hannah Smith? Um... Simon Smith? That's gonna bring up loads, isn't it? Uh, I don't know! I need to know what you did to her! I would have been a good mother. I was young, but I would have been a good mother. She was a girl, by the way, the baby. We were going to call her Sarah. Simon wanted to call her Ava after his nana, but I didn't want her to have a symmetrical name. Hmm. Because then it would have been like Eve and Hannah. That's uh, quite some thinking there. Sarah. Uh, what did you do to your sister, Eve? What did you do to her? Dead. This one's new. Rehearsed? You ask me the same question, you'll get the same answer. Is that your evidence? Of course I thought about what happened then. It's all I've thought about. My husband is dead. Hmm. It's all that matters really, the baby. Simon's dead, but the baby, that's how he will live on. Our baby. Our baby. Maybe that will finish it. The baby. Important. Oh, this is driving me nuts. What is it? Where is the baby? From when I woke up. Okay. I, uh, I woke up. Simon was already up and he made me birthday breakfast of Eggs Benedict. Uh, we both had to go to work, so we saved presents till later. Um, I got to work, had some birthday cake, children sang me happy birthday, then I came home. The birthday meal was a takeaway, um, and Simon gave me his present, which I didn't mind. And after that, we talked about the baby. It turned into a big argument. Simon left, I was furious. 
I wanted to get as far away as I could and get some space to think. So I left. Mm. Hmm. We are so close, people. So close to this. Yes, that's my birthday. Not one of the big ones, but I guess you can see that. What's your birthday? Still can't figure that one out. It was my birthday, like you said. We were going to have a meal at home. We had our meal. He gave me his present. I guess I didn't like the present. Wait, so this was the night that they argued, wasn't it? So the birthday, if she went to the police on the 18th, then, and it was, it was a Friday that they argued, Saturday, Sunday that she went to the police. So 16th of June? Bingo, mum. Mum and Dad had never had any reason to notice. They were always busy. If Hannah was eating a lot, they didn't mind. She didn't put on any weight. That girl has a healthy appetite. Um, if they heard us talking in the attic, they just thought it was Hannah playing one of her games. And that Eve was our imaginary friend. <laughs> Once, she was already up and dressed and ready to go to school and I snuck down for a piss. Mum saw me in my underwear, she went mad. Get dressed this instant! So I ducked into our bedroom <laughs> and seconds later out came Hannah, dressed and ready. My mum was amazed. Hmm, not the one I wanted. Are you going to arrest me? No. They'd laugh you out of the building. A lawyer would make mincemeat of you. Hmm. <laughs> so I think that's her getting pissed off. Arrest? Here we go. This is a nice of them. This is where you take people when it's time to arrest them. Not even joking. Yes. No lawyer. What are you going to arrest me for? The murder of Simon Smith. Can you arrest someone who doesn't exist? Hmm. <laughs> Brilliant. Can you arrest someone who doesn't exist? Yes. I understand my rights. No, I don't need a lawyer. So they did get her in the end. Huh, that was the last bit. That was literally one of the last bits. Wow. So I'm going to leave it there because I think we could spend ages filling in the rest of these blanks. And I kind of want to leave you guys a little something uh, for you to discover. So, I mean, I think we figured it out then. I think we almost figured it out quite early on where basically they were twins. They were separated from birth. Um, the midwife, Florence, took Eve home with her. They lived, they spotted each other at age five. At age eight, Florence mysteriously fell down the stairs and died, so she went across the road. Hannah hid her in the attic. They grew up together. They had a really messed up life where they were, like, you know, just doubling up on each other. Um, they slept with the same boys and they met Simon and that's where it started to go wrong. They dreamed of fairy tales. They followed Princess Diana and Grace Kelly. They thought that they were magical. You know, so and, and when they met Simon is when it all started to fall apart um, because both of them fell in love with him, you know, um, so Hannah got pregnant. So Eve tried to get pregnant so she could match her, but she couldn't. As she said, she broke the rules. Hannah broke the rules. Eve moved out, started playing in a bar. He picked her up. They had an affair and then Eve got pregnant by Simon in you know, their own bed in their own house, which is incredibly messed up. And then Hannah went to tell Simon about Eve because, uh, so Eve went to tell, tell Hannah, she was happy, she thought it was an old boyfriend. She wanted to tell Simon about Eve so she could come home and live at home. So Simon told Eve, uh, so Simon told Hannah about Eve and how he wanted to be with Eve. He wanted to be with the younger sister, because I'm guessing she was the younger one from that song 
you know, um, she came out a second after being strangled by the cord. So there's always been a discordant relationship between the two of them. She's always, Eve has always felt like the lesser person. So after Simon said he wanted to leave for Eve, she, Hannah got angry. Well, this, this was after she pretended to be Hannah and she killed him. And then she phoned up Eve. Eve went over, saw him dead. They cleaned up their body. They, they you know, tried to come up with an alibi. Eve drove to Glasgow and left. That was her alibi. And then they kind of double teamed it all the way through the interviews. But you can see the point at which Hannah stops doing the interviews and that's when she's in the flower dress there. So that's about halfway through the interrogation. So that's the fourth interrogation out of seven. And then I think um, Eve takes over completely. And then at the end, she simply says that um, Hannah's gone. So where's she gone? We don't know. So is that a happy ending? I don't know. Let me know if you guys find any more in these details. I'm going to keep playing this off camera to fill in these blanks. But I think in terms of a playthrough, I think we've reached uh, as far as I can kind of take it to make it fun. Um, so final thing, I'm going to do this and see... Is this gonna let me out now? So what does this mean? You think you understand what you're... Oh! So we're playing as Eve's daughter. Oh my God. So I'm Sarah. Holy crap, that's amazing that's brilliant so we are finally Sarah the daughter that Hannah always wanted to have brilliant what a brilliant game I must say I have thoroughly enjoyed this game um, I know it's a bit different to a usual game but you know we do have a history of FMV games like dare I mention the X-Files game um, and I do have a you know me I have a sweet spot for detective novels and things with morals and you know guessing and this was a lot more fun than Ellie Noir. Ellie Noir was great at its time but it was a bit shaky because it was a bit like let's see if you can see if this person is lying and the person's like doing the most shadiest thing in the world the actress Viva my god, she was, uh, Viva Seifert, uh, she was amazing, absolutely amazing. I think she really pulled this together because she had to play two different people in various stages of accusation. And I think she gave such a brilliant performance, like quite haunting towards the end and, you know, beautiful. I, I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed the intrigue. I really enjoyed this, the way the director, um, the game developer Sam Barlow threw things at you and kind of, you know, almost played with you a lot. So yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed this title. I recommend you play this even though, you know, you've watched this just to get those last little bits. So let me know what you guys think in the, in the, in the comments. If you come up with any theories of your own, let me know. But thank you very much for joining me. This has been Her Story and I'll see you guys next time.